Hello. With the list of activities in place and their target start and end dates, we are ready to lay our plan on a calendar-like table and make it more visual. In other words, create a Gantt chart. So we start with the activities and the dates, and we already have this information. Next, we need to prepare our calendar table to the right. In a Gantt chart, the columns are organized as a timeline, with calendar days, weeks, or months. Let's use months for the frequency and see what our Gantt chart will look like. We start with the main activities from the critical path and target dates. We write Jan in the first column to the right here. Click, hold and scroll to the right. The following months appear automatically. Excel recognizes you want to list the months. You drag as much as needed. In our case, by February, the year after. Next, above the months, it will be good to indicate the year. We can add a new row and then merge the cells which are above the first year months. We then name it and do the same for the following one. Choosing colors and formatting and we are ready with the rows and columns. In the main space, we will be marking which activity happens when. Before we start, I suggest you update the color of all these cells to no fill so that the default cell borders are visible. This makes it easier to read. You can do this by selecting the space and then changing the color to no fill. Great. Now we need to fill the main space according to the start and end dates. Requirements definition will take place in March and April, so we mark it on the calendar by coloring these cells. You can pick the color you like. I will use orange. Then, kickoff will take place in April, while system development will be worked on from April until the end of July. We mark these accordingly, under the respective months and to the right of the respective activity. Great. We do this for the whole list. Good. This is an appropriate level of detail for presenting the project to higher management, for example. We are now good on the high level, but we know very well that this is never sufficient for a project manager. To do that, we need to be able to mark weeks or even days. For example, you can see that the first activity should end on the 10th of April. However, our only option now is to mark the entire month of April against it. See? Hence, let's use weeks for the frequency as another option. We will see this in the next lesson. See you there.